Calaroga Shark Media. Hi there, I'm Johnny Mac with five good news stories. This first one, bittersweet, but more good than bad. Three elephants were returned to the wild. They had been orphaned as babies. They were rewilded after years in an innovative Kenyan sanctuary. When rangers first spotted one of the one-month-old elephants, she was roaming around the Samburu region in northern Kenya. She seemed distressed and alone. They couldn't find her mother, but they did find a carcass. They named that elephant Kapai. Kapai struck up a close friendship with another elephant calf, Lemorijo, who had been separated from his mother at just two months old. Three more orphaned or abandoned elephants were brought to the refuge over the following two years. They formed a herd. Kapai became their trusted matriarch. Now, after six years, Kapai and 12 other elephants were released into the wild. The refuge's communications manager said elephants have strong cultural imprints in the Samburu community, so the community leaders wanted a safe home for the orphans here. One of the keepers said, we are their moms and dads. The aim is to have them live strong and independent lives so they can go back to their natural homes. Meanwhile, a six-legged dog who was abandoned outside a shop has her new home. Ariel was 11 weeks old. Somebody left her outside a store. The Cocker Spaniel has six legs. Ollie runs a surf school. He said, we had a 16-year-old dog that we found 13 years ago wandering down Freshwater West Beach, our local beach, and unfortunately, he just suddenly passed away overnight. We thought, we're not going to get another dog because it's so upsetting. And then we realized that our home felt empty without one, and we applied to Green Acres for a dog. Green Acres got back. They were introduced to Ariel. We obviously found out about her whole story. We were overjoyed to welcome her into our family. She joins us everywhere we go. She can actually walk very well. She does need little breaks now and then, but if we were going on a walk, I could put her in a bag or I give her a lot of stops. She's swimming in the sea. She's been paddle boarding, surfing, and it's just great with kids and family. She's a very gentle soul. She likes sitting and watching. I can't encourage you enough. Get a shelter animal. I just had a generational change in my house. Uh, we lost an old friend, and uh, a day and a half later, my wife went off to the shelter and came back with our new friend. Uh, he's a year old, and he was a shelter dog, and now he's got a home, and we're all happy. Here he is. He just walked in. I was just talking about you. Hi. By the way, if you listen to both this and Daily Comedy News, sometimes I'll mention my older dog that walks into the studio. Uh, that's actually not the dog uh, that passed away. The younger dog was 14. Uh, my old girl is 16 and a half. She's still walking around. But here's my new friend here. OK, I got to record my show, right, buddy? Theodore Roosevelt's pocket watch was stolen in 1987, and it's finally back home. It was given to him by his sister and her husband in 1898. That was before he became president. But 1987... Someone stole it from an unlocked case at the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural National Historic Site in Buffalo, New York, where it was on loan. Jerks. 36 years later, it turned up at a Florida auction house. It was seized by federal agents. Good job, federal agents. It has now been returned to public display at Sagamore Hill at the National Park Service. Tweed Roosevelt, presumably a relative, said, This was feel-good news for me. Kind of felt almost like a piece of TR spirit being returned to Sagamore Hill, like a little bit of him was coming back, and so I felt that was really cool. Well, good news if you're in Virginia. You don't have to worry about those escaped donkeys. The Virginia State Police said on social media a duo of donkeys were rounded up by authorities after escaping their home and wandering onto a road. The police emphasized the teamwork that went into capturing the donkeys, saying this teamwork shows the importance of having a strong support network. That's right. Meanwhile, in San Diego, those authorities are trying to figure out where did the 11 pigs come from? 11 pigs were found wandering in the morning off Woods Drive. County Animal Services Lieutenant Talia Padilla said, Mama Hog, her babies, and a random pot-bellied pig were all in a gated driveway area that led up to two properties. Padilla said the pigs were lured into a trailer With some food, she tells us, they were very food motivated. The mom hog liked her ear scratch and she was fairly affectionate. Uh, Nobody has reported missing the 11 pigs. This is a mystery. I will stay on top of it. And those are your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy the program, tell a friend about it. They might like it too. And if you'd like to get rid of the commercials, I know there's commercials and the show's not all that long, but you know, rent and mortgage and stuff. Um, But one way you could support the show, go to calaroga.com slash plus $4.99 a month. You'll get this show, Daily Comedy News that I host seven days a week, Palace Intrigue, Uh, Monster Sharks and Dinosaurs is a really fun show. We did an episode on Cookie Monster last week that was uh, awesome. You should check that out. Regardless, so calaroga.com slash plus 499. Get all that ad free. See you next time.